Well, okay, it's time for an Arasaka update. Well, it's not really an update because I haven't done it yet, so it's an Arasaka video. This is the second Type 99. This is the number 352. It's the Nagoya Series 4, and this will be uh, the sixth through the tenth shot. We're just evaluating the brass at this point. Uh, the load is a little bit different. This is a 180 grain spear hot core, and this is uh, 43.2 grains of H380 thrown with my Uniflow. It's the same powder charge I was using with the 174 Sierra Match King. So I think it'll shoot about the same. Uh, like I said, we're not going for accuracy here. It's just function testing. I'm gonna stand the sight up so that I can shoot the, uh, shoot the half round. Move that up out of the way, then I can use the half round. It's a little easier to hold the elevation with this. See if I can get a setup here. Should we go long, Mark? Yeah. Why not? Should go 150? You're not going at a paper target, so yeah. No, nope, we're gonna go at steel, so. So these are gonna be uh, about 2,600 feet per second, Mark. Is it gonna go through the steel? Do I need to shoot at the blue one? It's not gonna go through. Okay, so you don't care which one we shoot at? Nope. The yellow one's easier to see, and boy, is that front show up. The front sight is showing up super well in this light, so I'm lucky. I don't think that blunt bullet will go through, maybe. The Mosin will go through those plates, but those are steel. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, lower this down a little bit. Now, probably after the first shot, Mark, that monopod is probably going to fall. Okay. Here we go. Hit. The ejector didn't work very good there. Extraction was fine. Might be that box ejector is a little bit weird. I have noticed that this one does not grab the brass nearly as good as the other one does. Uh-oh, we got a problem here. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to have to get over the top of that one. There we go. This is 150, right, Mark? Correct. I'm just holding right on it. That sounded rather flat. It either went all the way through it or just off the right side. I saw smoke. I heard a big thump, but I don't know if it hit the plate or what, but that sounded weird. Might have hit the rail on the right okay, side. Okay, that one ejected good. Could have got the rail. It's like all other mill serps. It wants you to run the bolt. It doesn't want you to play with it. Real solid hit that time. That's a hit. See the smoke? Did that pick one up? Yep. Okay. That went in so smooth it felt like it didn't pick it up. Should I go for the 8 inch one? <laughs> yeah, right. Huh? <laughs> you want to try it? I think you can get it. Let's try the 8 inch one. It's going to hold a little bit high. I don't like that. Oh. I thought it picked one up. Maybe it didn't. I better take a look at that one. Pop the primer. Sounded like a solid hit. Maybe I didn't put any powder in it. <laughs> it sounded like a primer hit, but. Did that blow the primer out? It did. That brass, yep, here's the primer laying right here. I bet that that, uh, I bet that primer was a little bit loose in there and it just came out. It didn't expend the primer. It was loose enough that it just came out before it hit it. When I chambered it, it came out. So oh, wow. Just a loose, loose primer pocket. I have never seen that. Yeah, I felt that one, that one felt a little bit loose when I seated it. I'm pretty sure that it just came out beforehand. So probably when I ran the bolt in, it came out. 
<laughs> well, the powder is coming out the flash hole. Yeah, there's a little bit of powder in here, but not bad. Yeah. It, we'll, it just, uh, let's drop the floor plate and blow it out real quick. It just runs out the flash hole. What's that? It's just running out the flash hole over here. Yep. It's H380, so it's going to come out. Yeah, I, I, one of those, the primer was pretty loose on seating, and I'm, you know, I'm not surprised that that happened. That's why we have crimped primers in military brass. Yeah, you're gonna pop that back in there for you. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably fire. It didn't lose very much. Yeah. If I put it in there gently, it'll go. We'll do that last if we choose to do it. There you go. It's back in. <laughs> There's never. Say that again. I've never hand seated a primer <laughs> in a <laughs> rifle cartridge. <laughs> Oh, that's a 270 Winchester. That's your problem. <laughs> yeah, that's formed brass. Yeah, that I, I remember one of them was a little loose on the seating. Okay, she's good and cleaned out now. Am I still in frame in the video? Yeah, pretty much. My head cut off? A little bit. They get lower. Nah, they don't good. come much shorter. Okay. That was a good hold, too. How bad did I flinch? Uh, it didn't look bad. I'll check the video. Yeah. Okay. Got, got a primer in this one? I hope so. Got a rubber band. That's, that's what happened. The rubber band fell out of it. That's it. All right. Back to business here. That plate's not as bright as it was a few minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. That's an eight inch plate at 150. That hit it pretty hard too. I was worried about the barrel on this rifle. I think the barrel's okay. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so keep the primers in there. You want to shoot this reduced load, reprimed? Did you get it to seat? <laughs> yeah. It'll run. This is the kind of stuff we shouldn't do on video. <laughs> True. <laughs> Worst that'll happen is it'll stick a bullet in a bore. It didn't lose that much powder. No, it maybe lost a grain. Like two grains on the table over here. So do we see how versatile it is and go with the eight-inch plate again, or we just go conservative and do the yellow plate? Yeah, just use the same hold on that. Let's see what. Let's see what. Okay, you got. I'll use the same hold. You can't you know, enough. Mark and I just sat here for 20 minutes trying to hit that plate with our 3030s with reduced loads, and it took us a long time to get the hold. Once we did, we both hit it. I think the old Type 99 did all right there. Yeah, it's pretty flat shooting. Okay, here we go. So uh, how many uh, thousandths below flush did you seat that with your thumb, Mark? Oh, it's right on. I think it's Is right it right on? on? Right at zero, yeah. Okay, it's at zero, right flush? Because those were, those were precision engineered, you know. If we yeah. didn't seat at the right depth, they'll never hit this target. I smashed it into my picnic table. All right, well that piece of brass, do you got that Sharpie over there still, Mark? Yeah. Let's put a mark on this so I throw this one away. Of course, these are 270 test pieces anyway, just to watch the headspace of the rifle. Oh, it's a bad one. I don't want the green marker, I want the red marker. Let's go for the trash can. Oh, go go for the trash can, okay. We'll just write on there, T-R-A-S-H, trash. It's a jet. Radio. Radial jet? DC three or something. Oh. Shoving on. Oh yeah, I hear it now. Cool. We're airplane nerds, so if something comes over, so I think that was a success to hit that eight inch plate at 150 with the doggone thing. Yep, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Well, that's our Arasaka update for today. Um, thanks to our cameraman Mark and our host at the Mosquito Ranch. Oh, wait a minute, it's the Nat Ranch. Johnson's Nat Ranch, thank you.
and we'll get the video out as soon as possible. Well, okay, we're out here at 150 yards and that's where I hit this eight inch plate with the Type 99. It's like I was just a little bit to the right, like maybe two and a half, three inches. So I was holding maybe kind of sort of towards the top of this. You know, I was little above the little above the top edge of the plate, but that's a pretty low velocity round. Those are only about 2,500 or so. So that makes sense that out here at 150, it'd be about there. So that looks pretty good. We really couldn't make out exactly where it hit on the yellow target. We see a couple of candidates, but we're not really sure. But anyway, it's uh, been a good day shooting out here. We're gonna shoot a little bit more and we'll see if we can film another video. Thanks for watching.